Hi, I'm Dirk und dieses Video ist auch auf Deutsch verfügbar. Today we are talking about this one. This is my Prusa MK4 3D printer. I have it now for some weeks and I was thinking about getting such a device for quite some time before, but never could really convince myself. Then I visited the Hanover Maker Fair in August 2023 and there was a Prusa booth. I talked to the people there, got an impression of the printers and then I decided the MK4 is it. And my colleague Kevin had the same idea. We ordered the kit versions and said let's assemble these printers together once they arrive. And by the end of November 2023 we could start assembling our printers. And we were sure Construction needs eight hours, says the manual. Well, we said, we are so good, we'll do it in six. Spoiler alert, this hasn't happened. And this is how the camera saw the building table. You see here the boxes with the printer kits and now we start unboxing this stuff and you see that there are a lot of smaller boxes and bags into the boxes and everything is quite well labeled. There are some tools included, you can see them here. And I took from my own tooling this sorting box here for all the tiny parts so that this um, could be sorted during the different steps. Okay, and so now we started with the first step and the first step is the printer frame. You can see here the metal parts and the profiles which are put onto the main frame. And then you have covers for the front end and the back end. You can see them here and uh, the instructions say that you should take care that the frame does not become distorted during construction. And actually we made a mistake here in fact that we didn't take care of this um, enough and when we fastened the screws in the first, in the first attempt um, actually the frame became a bit distorted and then we had to unfasten the screws once more. You can see it here that we now take our hands and be very careful that the frame does not become distorted um, when we fasten the screws. And with this second, in this second uh, try this actually worked and the complete frame was flat on the surface of the table and then we could continue by mounting here these, these small rubber feet and we also mounted some cable clamps, which you can see here. Okay, this first step brings us rather fast forward. We were rather fast. We do have this frame readily assembled and then we continue by putting the power supply onto it. This is this large box, which is put on one side of the frame. And while we're at it, there is another larger box. And this is the box where the main electronics comes in. And then the electronics board is put into its metal case and screwed in there and I think here yeah here you can see it a bit this is the electronics board which I just where I just put no this is these are not the screws the screws are already put in but these are some zip ties which are also added now to this metal case which will hold um, some of the large amount of cables that come into this box later. And now as a final step for this first part of the main frame comes parts of the y-axis of the movement forward and backward. This is done by the printer plate later on and for this um, you need um, a motor and a pulley and the pulley is put onto the front end of the main frame. You can see it here. The pulley hold um, is already here. You can see it is already put in there and on the back end of the main frame comes the motor for this stuff. This is the motor hold and then there is the motor itself and this is screwed together and then put at the back end of the frame which we do here and there we screw it and then it is finished and now you see here the mechanical parts for the movement of the bed of the print bed are now already put in here. And that finishes the part of the main frame and you can see the next thing is um, the iconic Gambias of these assembly instructions and uh, the instructions say at the end of each step how many Gambias you may eat now and if I remember correctly we stuck quite precisely to these instructions Germans we are. Now printer frame is gone and the next part is assembled um, 
independently in the beginning. And for this part, you see here the first of these iconic orange Prusa printer parts. And you see that we have to put screws and nuts into these parts to put them, to bring them together. And these are the holders of the whole extruder mount, which we will, um, which we will assemble later. At this first step, um, we have to prepare these parts so that they can move upward and downward later on. And every time it comes to movement, things are the same for movement. You need some bearings and the bearings have to be degreased on the outside. This is what I'm doing here um, to, to remove the grease which is still there. And then uh, you have new grease um, which you have to apply um, on the inside of the bearing and for this you have these tools and with these tools you can apply uh, the grease to the small balls which are in these bearings and you can see how I do this here and I attach the device to the grease tube and put the grease into the um, into the bearing and then the bearing into the holder which you can see here um, and then um, everything is screwed together so that we have these holder parts readily assembled. Next step is to bring this x-axis stuff together and for this we have these two rods uh, which will be put uh, between these two holes and for the rods we need some more bearings which are here and these bearings actually will hold the extruder mount later on. And um, for these bearings procedure is exactly the same as before. We have to degrease them on the outside, we have to grease them on the inside and then put them onto the rods and then the rods onto the holders. And then this first step for the extruder mount is finished and here you can already see the main part of the extruder mount itself and this part now has to be prepared and for this preparation means you have to put screws in it and additional parts onto it so that it comes together and then you can put this part um, once it is finished with all this additional stuff onto its bearings. You start with this on one side, on one side of this whole um, hold and you see that this third bearing is still free. This will only be mounted later on. Mm, now you attach the motor here to the holder and on the other side you see here this hole and this hole uh, will um, hold a pulley once again. Um, and this means that you have all the parts which will actually move the extruder mount later on. And for this you have the motor, you have uh, the pulley and among them mounted to the extruder mount is this gear belt so that um, the motor will be able to move the extruder mount from left to right and vice versa. Then you attach the third mount and you see that this part is finished now by the new part and the new gambiers which are lying on the table here. Okay, so this part is now ready. And um, for the next part, we have to look back onto the actual frame. And this is actually the Z axis. So the parts which allow the movement upward and downward. The lower mounts are mounted onto the frame here. And then come the motors. And these motors now have these uh, gear rods here. And for these motors, it is important to mount them on the correct side. Because as you can see here, they have cables of different length attached to them. And as all these cables have to come into this main electronic box later on, it is important to have the correct motor on the correct side. And we do this here and then we screw the motors on their mounts and after that you see more rods and these rods are now put onto the um, onto the z-axis uh, lower mounts and then the whole x-axis part can be put onto this stuff and this has to be done in a way that it is at least to some extent uh, parallel to the horizontal axis and uh, to keep it in place there is this tiny plastic part here which is um, only for this reason in the kit to hold the X axis while it is not mounted completely, while the printer mount is not finished. Now you put it on and then you can put the upper mounts, the upper mounts for the Z axis onto the printer. And then this is also finished. 
And while we are at it, we now continue uh, mounting the first um, cables. We have this rather large uh, wiring harness here, um, which will be used to bring the electronics to the extruder later on. And we have this additional electronics board, which is also there for controlling the extruder later on. And this all has to be put onto the printer and as it is for the extruder, its right place is the extruder mount. And you can see here how I attach the cables to the electronics after I have put them through the extruder mount and then put everything together onto the extruder holder so that this is prepared for the actual extruder later on. But the first step is now that we have this huge amount of cables here and these cables have to be led to the main electronics box and this must be in a flexible way because this whole um, part will move around later on but on the other hand they must not jam the printer of course and therefore we have this isolated wire here which will guide the cables and we have this flexible cover which will be um, around the cables later on. And you can see us here um, putting this wire into the extruder uh, holder and then put the cables around this wire and put the cover, the flexible cover around it and fix everything with zip ties so that finally everything is put quite nicely together. And while we are at it, we have another part which needs uh, the same measures and that's the the motor here for the x-axis which also needs this flexible connection to the main electronics box and I do it by exactly the same way and then I take both uh, cable um, harnesses together and put them into the main electronics box so that this can be attached later on. And so this part is also finished now and now there was the question whether we continue or whether we should um, stop for the moment and um, we said okay no we will continue of course now and what we didn't know at this time was that the next part is the most complex one and the one with the tiniest and most delicate parts because the next thing that we have to do is to build the extruder itself. And for the extruder, we start with this extruder base plate, which you can see here. This is the base plate where everything for the extruder is mounted on. Some screws are applied to it. And now comes um, one of the fiddliest parts, because now comes the gearbox uh, for the filament. There we have the motor which moves the filament. And then we have these gears which actually perform the movement and this has to be put together and this is has to be done in a very precise way because these gears have to be put onto the motor axis um, in a way that they are correctly applied and I needed two or three attempts to apply this correctly after all. But once this has been done, uh, this whole thing can be put onto the extruder base plate and you can see here this, uh, this, this planetary gearbox. And this um, um, gearbox also has to be greased. You see me here um, working with this uh, grease stuff of this printer kit and the grease has to be applied and then the cover can be put onto the gearbox. You can see this here. Uh, but once this has been done, this whole extruder can be put onto the extruder mount, which we have put onto the printer hours before and then we have this extruder on it and you can see that now all these uh, tiny cables which are or which are still here coming out of this extruder part now have to be put onto um, the mounts on the um, electronics box for the extruder and then further parts have to be attached and applied and everything has to be done together and the final thing that we do now is or one of the next things that we do now is to apply the additional fan which is needed to cool the filament after it has been extruded. Uh, this additional fan is mounted here and once that is done you put the cover onto the electronics box and now this whole extruder thing looks rather finished and actually it is finished and now comes an important final step because the final step now is um, to measure the tension of 
the gear belt of this whole x-axis by measuring the frequency um, of the gear belt when you touch it. And this is done by a web page on the, X, uh, on the Prusa website, which you download on your mobile and which then on the mobile measures this frequency, as you can see here. Yeah, and once you have done this, final gambias, and these were the final gambias of this day because we decided that now it was uh, 1 a.m. in the night uh, that we should now uh, call it a day. Okay, summary. From 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. were 8 hours. According to the manual, the printer should be finished now. It surely wasn't. But that's okay, better be accurate than be fast. But this video here also becomes longer and longer and therefore I put the second part of the assembly into a follow-up video, which is either linked here now or not, because it has not yet been published. Anyway, see you there or in another video on my channel and as always, thanks for watching. This is a Prusa MK4 3D printer and I have now totally lost my own teleprompter.